Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another uh, frustrating video. Uh, today we are going to be talking about PlayStation yet, uh, yet fucking again. Uh, so recently, or rather today, I found out that I got funds from my pension that I put in a, in a request like last month, and I thought that I should buy a game. Which is called Ghost of Tsushima. I was absolutely excited for the game uh, about a month ago. I was really excited because that's when they announced it to come to PC. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy Ghost of Tsushima uh, when I have more f money to buy the games and stuff like that. So I can actually enjoy the game. And uh, to come home to see and uh, to find out that Ghost of Tsushima doesn't exist in my region anymore. I'm going to just say that I live within the Baltic region, but I'm not going to specify which country I am actually from. Because it doesn't matter uh, at all, because none of the Baltic countries can actually buy the fucking game. Um... If if I go if I give a better example here, let me go to my home page of uh, my account uh, that is for both the YouTube and normal playthrough, and uh, let me check uh, Hell Divers Two. I do own the game already, which doesn't matter in the end of the day. But if we go to a store page, oh, oops, sorry. An error, error was encountered while processing your request. This item is currently unavailable in your region. <sighs> so, now we are going to talk about Ghost of Tsushima. Because this is the whole uh, reason why the video exists. So, as you can see here, it's available on Windows, uh, Windows, Microsoft Windows, and it's on Steam. But if I click on it, oh, oops, sorry, an error was countered while processing your request. This item is currently unavailable in your region. And, uh... Since I'm ambassador of uh, Greenman Gaming, let me show another example. Let me go Greenman Gaming. Uh, let's search up Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, look at that! Where is it? It doesn't fucking exist! It doesn't fucking exist at all. What? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me let me real check so I don't get confused. Oops, that's a wrong thing. Oh, what's that? Game unav unavailable where you live. And when I checked the space yesterday, it was here. Same with the Steam, same with Google Search. I was able to access both of them. While I'm not a ambassador for this following website at all, let me check something just to confirm. I can literally cannot activate in Estonia. I can buy it, but I cannot activate it. And here is even more funnier thing. Let me go here and uh, search for Horizon. PlayStation, sincerely, go fuck yourself.
Sincerely, go fuck yourself. I was so hyped to own a legitimate copy of Ghost of the Tsushima, so I could stream it tomorrow, but apparently uh, I just have to use a, um, a pirated version of the game. You absolute fucking morons. Well, I guess it is what it is, everyone. Um, while this video most likely won't get a lot of attention, uh, because I'm a very minor YouTube channel, uh, who obviously has a passion for gaming, and it's really evident on... Uh, on the fact that I share a lot of uh, YouTube uh, gaming uh, videos on the channel and stuff like that. So, inherently, this hurts me a lot more than anyone could realize. I love video games, but if there are certain restrictions applied because of the region I live in, it's just uh, fantastically stupid to see. And I'm going to say, I'm going to address PlayStation right now. Dear PlayStation, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania are no Russian! Get that through your fucking thick ass fucking skull, you morons! Like, how intellectually impaired do you have to be... To understand that all of the Baltic countries are part of European Union, so you should regulate your rules based on on uh, based on European laws. What's even more funny here is if I open Google. Let's go back to Google. Google.com. Sony Baltic Sony Music Entertainment Baltics Located in Estonia Tallinn But that's just the music one Um there was a thing in the search option. When I looked up Sony Latvia, it showed the Latvia's uh, thing. What I'm curious about is this. Oh, you look at that. What's this? We have legit. We have legitimately Sony website that is in Estonian and PlayStation doesn't support the region. Uh, they also have LV, which is Latvian. Uh, let's see LD, that's uh, Lithuanian. They're literally supporting all of Europe here, but PlayStation is unable to support politics. Wait, what? I really hope the new CEO for PlayStation is gonna remove the region locks and it's going to be like, oops, sorry, our mistake. Here you go, the rest of the world, you have the access of the, for the games. I'm not as much as, uh, uh, I'm not as disappointed in terms of Helldivers, but people who don't own the game, 
they might find it really frustrating to be unable to access the access to the store page on Steam and being unable to purchase the game. Same with Ghost of, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, in the end, I don't know whether or not it's in their full right to do this bullshit. Uh, while I may hate their decision, there is nothing a minor me can really do. Except keep complaining, keep making videos about it, and a bunch of other shit that I don't really want to do. Because I have other things to deal with in terms of YouTube congregation and TikTok congregation. I am extremely pussy person without any of you possibly could be imagining or realizing or could care less about but in the end of the day we are just a minor nation as in all three put together we are just really minor nation and the matter of the fact is that playstation hasn't never has never supported politics and this is where I'm go I'm gonna just be honest and completely without bullshitting you guys is that X or not necessarily Xbox Xbox services are still limited to the extent. But the matter of the fact is that Microsoft itself is international. And my personal Game Pass account is literally connected to Microsoft account that is based on, on my own region. And uh, I can literally buy Game Pass, subscribe to Game Pass, and get free games. Um, while they are not directly free games because you have to subscribe to Game Pass to, in order to even access them. But at least... Microsoft is doing, why even though Microsoft has been under a lot of shit as of late too, but at least Microsoft hasn't pulled uh, this kind of bullshit out of their ass as of yet. And I don't know what the fuck the future of the uh, Microsoft slash Xbox holds, and I don't really care. Um, but at the end of the day, at least they are supporting even the very mi minor regions where I can just buy your game pass and subscribe to it and be happy about that. But it doesn't matter. This is the PlayStation video. I'm just saying that at least Microsoft is doing it. How come Sony isn't doing it? Is what's weird about it. And kind of the reason behind of this video, admittedly, it's already 40 minutes long. And I suppose that's enough of renting, but in the end, to be completely fucking honest, as a video gamer who wants to do videos about the games that I'm excited about, fuck you, Sony, and fuck you, PlayStation. And a lot of people are going to be like, are you a export or bony no i'm neither i'm a gamer if it's not evident based on uh, what you see on my youtube channel i love both i love playstation games i love xbox games i love pc games I would love Switch games if I had any. I do own Switch. But I haven't had money to buy any games on, on those pla on Switch. Um So yeah. I love video games. I love gaming. That's why this channel exists. 
to share gaming experiences upon me playing video games, although some of them might be fit, fit or fit out commentary. But I love them, and the commentary might, may be very mediocre, but I, l I just do what I love. I'm passionate about games. I love games. Even though I have said it numerous times, I love video games. It's honestly sad. Uh, to see what PlayStation has pulled. But, anyways. If you like this video, like and comment. Give me your doubts in the comment section down below. Um, dislike the video if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. Um, all of the engagement help with the algorithm. So thank you very much. Regardless of which input you do. And I will continue to see you guys very very soon. With more game with gaming videos or videos like this. So have a good one everyone. And that's enough for ranting today. Bye bye. In a world of constant evolution.